so my dear students you know that today's segment is going to be bck isn't it so this segment basically if you want revision cues revision cues like yesterday if you want revision tips kindly understand that this is learning several times i mean you are going because you need to store information store information and recollect the same so there is nothing analytical about it everything is the entire uh, segment is information ridden so you have to be very clear that you know the answer and here we are also planning for tests to be loaded in the app i think alternate days uh, you may be getting that uh, with all the six uh, chapters and big back book back questions you can go through the book back questions okay so that is how you are going to so revise questions plus the app test for revision now one more point i would stress here is the jargon that is business jargon you mean the vocabulary the words or terms are very important in fact do you remember that in the very first topic we had one table called as a vocabulary table introducing you to terms like strategy logistics bull bear isn't it so throughout internal external micro macro etc and abbreviations like pedal swat are repeatedly asked abbreviation yes abbreviations are repeatedly asked and current trends there is something called as current trends which is like your fdi ofdi fdi fii fdi fii ofdi all these okay there is something called as if you notice information bubble it will be a small clipping like this difference between data and information for example okay so that information bubble see i am giving you the focus areas of preparation for bck okay so you will understand that for these this and this to happen this is the kind of path or route we are giving you is it clear so you can adopt this route for good preparation is it clear so abbreviations many acronyms i mean spezel and swat etc are there and historical information for example you have policies during the period of uh, mogal rule gupta dynasty isn't it dada bai navroji sir theory all these are historical information <coughs> which are bound to overlook so that is again a vital segment and last but not the least when you take whole of bck a general question you know they will it will be a general question based on this topic only but generally from the say who is an entrepreneur 
difference between business and profession. So, some general questions. General questions in the business context. So, even that uh, uh, meaning of an entrepreneur, uh, factors of production, objectives of business are not out of syllabus. Somewhere it is there in the syllabus itself. Even objectives of business enterprise. Okay. So, general questions in the business context. Now, with this small uh, introduction, I would like you all to start taking down the points as you did the last two days. So, keep your uh, notebook open, put today's date, put it as day 3 revision, segment BCK. Okay. See, this uh, PPT method is to keep you awake. We have done all the uh, material, everything, word, all material you have seen. But the PPT is one way of keeping you awake. Yes or no? You know, and to the point and here, some exercises are there today, like yesterday, no? Quiz test and other things you can do. And there will be a travel through all the six chapters. Okay. So, we will make a beginning. Look at the chapters of the uh, BCK. Six important chapters, starting with BCK and introduction. And second chapter, business environment. Very important. Third, business organizations is your company profile. Third is company profile. Fourth is government policies for business growth. This is where I said they are starting with history. You know, Ashoka and uh, Alauddin Kilji and all up to uh, LPG, privatization, forms of privatization, uh, the radical reforms uh, of uh, 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 2016. I mean, from then on, what happened to FDI sector? So that is this topic. And in organizations facilitating business, you see big institutions which support business. The RBI, maybe NABA, all those. And chapter 6 is the term with a meaning. The term with a meaning. It is from finance, a stock, uh, basically, and marketing, other business terminologies, banking, etc. Okay? So, now let's move on. So, I, this is what I was telling you, you know, when you go about your preparation, ensure that you are going to store information and all the uh, six chapters have been outlined for you. So, chapters 2 has all this, chapters 3, just we start with this kind of a uh, synopsis, uh, synopsis of the topic chapter 4, chapter 5, yeah. Chapter 6. So, word with meaning and examples are given. Explanatory notes in our material is added. And uh, daily reading of the topic is required. Whether you have done it so far, I do not know. From today, I think you can start the exercise of daily reading, okay. So, uh, this I will do finally when we are going to conclude the topic, uh, some of the examples from few and we will start a quiz test in this segment. By now you should have prepared it, it should be in your fingertips, isn't it? Yes. Look at chapter 1. Look at the chapter 1, a synopsis. So, you are having BCK domain. You remember the chart and all what we had? One was your BQ chart. The other one was what? Vocabulary chart. Do you remember that? BQ chart and vocabulary chart. Okay. And importance of BCK to CA aspirants. I think two, three important points were there, isn't it? Uh, they are um, uh, custodians of uh, nation's uh, resources, if you remember. And uh, each business has its own notions. And a chartered accountant may, must be able to understand the peculiarities of that business and accordingly do the auditing work, isn't it? It's not common. That is where you learn the nuances, notion, 
you remember that and bq business portion like iq like eq business portion is awareness of the business environment around us not only with respect to india but globally okay that is the main point here then fundamental difference between economic and non economic factors is in the activities and uh, there is a question which i have asked so you will do that as an exercise and features of business activities i think uh, five to six features no we have seen and business as an economic uh, perspective uh, business as an economic activity expected question three perspectives again in quiz question i have added that you are going to do that exercise also business profession and employment chart miss not market as very important okay that's very very important my dear students because that is where you as a professional are standing distinct okay so we are expecting i uh, see this uh, uh, order the synopsis is given because what they are doing is uh, every batch they are shuffling from this and asking all said and done it comes from these areas only they, this year if they ask a bck vocabulary next year it will be on business domains chart okay so this is very important for you and objectives of business uh, business not only for this business economic segment also and if you study from this all the more it's very clear in the form of a chart i have shown you i have also illustrated the chart and forms of business organization i think uh, right from the plus 1 plus 2 level you have a knowledge on this isn't it different forms sole proprietorship uh, hindu undivided family business partnership limited liability partnership and companies private versus public companies okay okay please uh, take down this chapter 1 important questions you please write it i am giving a small uh, example here vocabulary chart vocabulary chart is a very important segment you are going to prepare please note down chapter 1 so this is where yeah you will be going uh, seeing other thing so here where is the term strategy derived from logistics derived from meaning in that original discipline or source discipline and how it is used in business okay so you understand the uh, original discipline and we all know how it is what is the strategy to a complex plan to win over the rivals and here likewise business partners uh, not exactly partners rivals here it is not you know like a political war it is a business war and logistic please mark it as important in a uh, three or four uh, scanners i found this question so that is movement of inputs and outputs input and output so inbound logistics imply movement of inputs and outbound logistics mean movement of output mark it as a very important question of course my understanding is uh, bulls and bears uh, you all know uh, a very common term it's not uh, difficult but logistics many of you even strategy you may know so uh, please make a note of the second one inbound logistics and outbound logistics with business context the second part that's extremely important look at this typically inbound logistics imply movement of inputs and outbound logistics imply movement of output have you taken down yes yes now please attend this uh, questions of course the uh, online class i am always used to call it as a g class exercise but now it's not a google meet but uh, otherwise also please address these questions take down you are doing this exercise 1 in bck chapter 1 oxford online dictionary defines the term domain as dash okay domain in simpler terms means a dash bck is eclectic 
meaning of the term eclectic just you're trying out okay scores are not our aim recollecting you're just going to remember all this okay recollect what we did in the class what you have done uh, studied from your book eclectic i told you that in the class also as i was doing mark it as important uh, so you have to expand next b to b b to c that students make a little mistake and human activities are classified into i want that classification and different types of objectives you know you can just make it's not differences in different types of objectives you can give that three perspectives of business mention the three business of uh, three perspective of business as an economic activity you have three perspectives yes human activities are classified into This is, you are going to list out the types of objectives. The three perspectives, you are going to give the three perspectives. A and B and C. Yes, come in, come in. Please, please close the door. Eh? So, when you look at the synopsis, you see how it is spread and asked, how the question is spread and asked. Have you written the answer? Yes. Any doubt? Yeah, you have to give the types of business objectives. You have major heads. Whatever it is. Why are you giving the answer? Let everybody think and write. How many ever you remember? See, BCK is basically what? Learning the information, storing and delivery. So let us see how much you are uh, able to, and it's not about the score, okay? And I want you all, please never open the book or do some, uh, you know, googling and all. Try and write, you know, how much I remember. And see, when you look at the answer, you are going to remember for the, uh, what is that? Finish. Some of you are very good. Okay, now time up. I told you time consciousness is also very important. Yes, how many of you? Yes, you finished? All of you? Yes, now we are going to go for the Answer key, keep your pen ready to tick mark what you have got, what are the things you have got correct and we will see how much you remember. Look at the answers. Oxford Online Dictionary defines the term domain as a specified sphere of knowledge. See that is one repeatedly asked question. I did some web references. And found that in several institutes this question has been asked. Look at the answer. Specified sphere of knowledge. 
according to Oxford Online Dictionary because the reference is also given now. So this question is expected. And in simpler terms, domain means just a subject. Please note, domain is just a subject. Please see whether they are asking domain meaning from Online Oxford Dictionary or in simpler terms. That is one point you have to note it. Kindly note the difference between the two. Okay. And look at the term, meaning of the term eclectic is multidisciplinary. See, you may be knowing that we saw a segment where we saw features of VCK. No, it is vast, eclectic, ever evolving and expanding. I have given you that context in which we did eclectic. You remember multidisciplinary. So, VCK draws inputs from economics, from management, from accounting, from uh, science. That's where we did know bears and bulls. Bears and bulls, no, what is the source discipline? You remember that source discipline for bears and bulls? Source discipline for bears and bulls? Anybody remembers? Like a strategy from military? Oh, yes. Animal psychology, yes. That funny Biology. thing was given. Yes. Biology and animal psychology, that funny thing was given, isn't it? So here likewise, expected, this eclectic is an expected one. Please note it okay b to b how many of you correctly wrote it as business to business very good and b to c business to consumer how many of you wrote it correctly okay not bad now please take down that meaning in two papers they have asked meaning not merely the acronyms and do you remember when i said acronyms it is like this b to b B to C, etc. My dear students, I would like you all to take down the meaning. Having done some uh, homework for you, I find that these are little bit basic things you must know as miss not. Have you all taken down the meaning? B to B also uh, is a form of transaction between businesses such as one involving a manufacturer and a wholesaler. It could also be a wholesaler and retailer, something like that, okay? And B2C stands for business to consumer as in a transaction that takes place between business and an individual as an end customer. Business and individual as an end customer. Okay, so that is the implication of it. And look at the uh, last question, I think many of you would have answered the last one. That is human activities are classified into economic and non-economic. Were you able to do that? Yes, that is simple, isn't it? Have you all taken down the meaning of B2B and B2C? Yes, I think you have written. Shall we move on to the next one? Okay. My dear students, business, profession and employment. Okay. So, kindly make this or note this as a segment which is repeatedly asked. So, it is a very important uh, segment. Go through for one minute. I am going to keep a test on this segment now. Now itself in the class we are going to have a, a test in this and then only we are going to move on, okay. Uh, finally, up, uh, towards the end of the chapter, this one I want to keep a test and I will keep a test in another. Uh, I will not entertain anybody opening your textbook, either Bharadwaj material or ICAI material. Please don't open. That is not allowed because just we are testing your memory. Now, did you ever, so this segment, go to the next segment. This is one segment where some of you would have missed out in the first chapter, but they are asking, that is certain terms used. 
considerations before going to the objectives there is one segment called as considerations and it talks about some general terms in business see what i gave you here if you look at this no i when i was uh, not in this i think here general uh, questions no that general terms so there is one segment uh, which i want you all to do uh, i have taken it as now you try whether you are able to give the answers i mean uh, here each one of this has a term appropriate to the sentence given so the term you have to fit in there can you do that exercise fill up the consideration see business draws its factors of production from the society and it's dependent on it for sale of goods and services okay a firm is not only the owner it is as much investor lender employee customer supplier third one is dash is a minimum con concept in fact um, the cost of being and cost of staying in a business and if at all there is a single purpose of business it is creation and maintenance of dash and dash is a precursor to profits so you can try out this segment and what i am uh, planning to help you in this segment is if you are looking so 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 blank i can help you in one way what i am going to give you is i will give you the answers the terms you try to fit in okay okay i will give you some uh, terms you try to fit in okay which will be in which like terms from business performance amount of profit multiple stakeholders inter dependent customers now you are going to fill it up and after you do this exercise you are going to register completely this part in your mind i have given the options now you can just fill up for the five fill ups fit in the correct answer where will performance come where will amount of profit come where will multiple stakeholders come where will inter interdependence come for which a sentence customer is appropriate then so if you write even the answers it's enough okay it's not that you have to write every uh, sentence of it because as an exercise we have to do all the exercise in class no don't uh, while away your time in writing the questions can okay. finish Were you able to fit in? So for the five fill-ups, you have five terms. Have you done? Yes, Deepak, have you finished? Okay, each one. Uh, so let us fill the answer from you. For the first one, what is the answer? Very good. It is 
इंटरडिपेंडेंस सेकेंड वन मल्टीपल स्टेक होल्डर्स वेरी गुड या मल्टीपल स्टेक होल्डर्स वेरी गुड थर्ड यस प्रॉफिट इट इज अमाउंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट वेरी गुड फोर्थ वन कस्टमर्स यस गुड एंड फोर्थ फिफ्थ वन परफॉर्मेंस नाउ प्लीज don't forget this part generally uh, when they ask objectors but this is an unexpected segment which they are asking so make it as important unexpected question from topic 1 see these are the revision tips you are going to take okay from chapter 1 Is that clear? So, have you taken down all this? Yes. Have you finished that? I think not yet. So, if the answers are noted down with the main point, that's fine. Okay. okay then so that is what i have given you answer key here now look at this see what are those objectives we saw no she also said immediately four yes economic objectives organic objectives social responsibilities legal ethical and environmental objectives so this is a classification of business objectives and this is important for bck and uh, economics so please uh, note the types of objectives at least and the subdivisions you know from there we can understand what it is so economic objectives under that you will have terms like sales profit return on investment capital invested so how will they ask this segment they will take one particular term and ask you under which objectives does it come so does the you know say investment in business comes under economic social organic legal okay and under organic objectives if you look look at four main are there four main objectives you can have under uh, uh, organic one that is it is not like money but that which is essential for the long run growth of a business for example terms like survival health and here we are talking about health of what the physical assets the man power resources okay the fitness of the business and the reserves contingency any unexpected thing are you able to meet if you are able to meet your healthy organization no when you say what is a healthy organization strong man power uh, good physical uh, equipment plant equipment support and ability to meet contingencies okay that comes under health growth of the organization diversification of capabilities we can it's not we are not going to be like a, a you know closed and in one path we are going to be pluralistic and remember business objectives are pluralistic in nature you can make a note of that point business objectives are pluralistic remember the spelling pluralistic you are learning a term that's why i'm asking you to be very careful business objectives are pluralistic yes so pluralistic means it is not singular it is multiple is any problem both of you no okay so pluralistic means multiple it's not singular so please remember this point very clearly is that clear so terms now when there i will tell you the terms remember and social responsibilities my dear students you can divide the segment of social responsibilities into two one is so look at this i'll draw a line here so that you will know like doing some community service 
projects you take up service projects you know cleaning of marina beach serving the uh, rural area going to a gram and doing a village seva or doing some um, hospital cleaning and you know support to hospitals all this you do companies do but the other one other segment is the responsibilities towards the stakeholders we saw that of no multiple stakeholders investors employees customers so suppliers that comes under the second component okay and the last one legal you know not to violate the rules of the country ethical doing the right thing and not uh, the wrong one business any day can go wrong isn't it and environmental objectives is maintaining ecological standard that which does not harm the environment is it clear yes have you uh, understood all this part okay now you are going to do this segment b segment b what did we see forms of business organization in segment a topic 1 what you have bck an introduction all things relating to bck uh, as an introductory you note know. second one in chapter 1 this second segment please do this test okay chapter 1 segment b forms of business organization so take up this small test you know we have sole proprietorship hindu undivided family business limited liability partnership partnership and company private company and public companies so look at this look at the uh, quiz time Look at this quiz time. Let me see how much is your preparation here. For the purpose of uh, understanding Hindu undivided families' features as a business entity, another important relevant law is dash. Second one, numerically. these enterprises are the largest numerically these in, uh, enterprises are the largest and in fact the indian data also confirms this third one partnership implies dash of a business partnership implies dash of a business then the features of dash and dash you will have two features makes it a hybrid form of business organization and also which is that hybrid one you are going to say yes please come in and expand opc acronym then c minimum number of members this column for private company maximum number of members for private company and the second one that is the column b same question for public company is it clear minimum number of members for public uh, company minimum number of members for maximum number of members for public company please sir, do that so i have selected um, four questions to my knowledge i have marked in some important questions for you if you have at least one clue i will give okay let me give this which company limited liability partnership at least that clue i will give so that you can give me two features why it is hybrid hybrid means what cross mix 
hybrid is cross and mix mix first column remember this is for private company minimum and maximum number of members this is for public company column b is for public company Anybody completed? Raise your hands. Are you trying out? Completed. Huh? How many of you were able to do at least uh, two or three? It's not bad. Huh? Really good actually. Okay. So what you are doing now, register it. Huh? This is your learning BCK in class now. Keep it in that way, students. It's not a quiz. Is, quiz time is not a fun fair. Basically, you are registering this and similar type of questions. So, answer key is released. Look at this. Hindu Succession Act 1956. How many of you were able to give this? Hindu Succession Act 1956 with a year. Okay. Numerically, these are the largest, you know, sole proprietorship. Nobody will even understand, isn't it? They are called as... See, in your book itself, there will be a term. They are derigore, uh, derigorately called as uh, local uh, shops and things like that, no? But they are an important source of employment and uh, uh, largest in number. Sole proprietorship are numerically largest. You would not have expected, no, isn't it? They are, uh, they are like very small entities. And look at this partnership. This is one important term you have to learn, my dear students, because this is asked. Partnership implies contractual co-ownership of a business. Contractual co-ownership of a business. Please uh, note it because you all know there is a partnership deed and agreement which will take place. Okay. Features of this is LLP. Remember this is limited liability company is called as a partnership is called. Sorry. Limited liability partnership is referred to as a hybrid mode. And look at the two features. Certainly, they are, how they are asking is, they give two other features, mix of it, and you have to find the right one. Mandatory incorporation and separate legal entity of the LLP. Mandatory incorporation and separate legal entity. Okay, please note it. Uh, how many of you were able to expand this OPC? One person company. And this one, look at this. Uh, minimum number of persons, uh, members. 2 is for a private company and the maximum is 200. Okay. For public company, minimum is 7 and no limit. Okay. So, were you able to do this exercise? Yeah. 
Yes. Very good. Now, please, uh, no, which is this is the third exercise or what? A set of questions I am going to give you. You have to do it now. Okay. Yes, which I was uh, planning to give you. Okay, did we answer that question? Uh, what are the three perspectives? That question, what, is, what are the three perspectives? Narrow, broad and medium. Okay, first question, economic activities, economic activities, have, have, dash motive, have, dash motive, okay, second one, non-economic activities are, driven by selfless concern so you have to give the term for selfless concern yes see Sanjani is well prepared for the classes non-economic activities are driven by selfless concern third one Third one, okay. Consumption represents dash side of economics. Consumption represents dash side of economics. Consumption represents dash side of economics. Okay. IT business comes under which perspective? IT business comes under which perspective? That perspective seg uh, segment, my dear students, with example study, with examples. Okay, that is one sample question. That's why I'm giving you. Okay. Agriculture does not comprise industry and business, true or false. Recollect the Indian context. Okay, a small clue is you have to recollect the Indian context. Does not comprise industry and hence business. It is true or false. And hence business. Okay. Now here for this segment you have to answer whether it is business, profession or employment. Okay. Dash is guided by Founders values. So you have to choose between the three. Business, profession or employment. Dash is gui guided by founders values. Okay. Transfer of interest is possible in case of dash. 
transfer of interest is possible in case of dash. Okay. Next one. Heritage conservation. Heritage conservation comes under which objective of business? So, you know, we have already seen there are fourfold, isn't it? Economic, organic, social, legal, ethical and environmental. So, heritage conservation comes under which of the four? You know the four already. I understand that. Diversification of capabilities comes under which one of the objectives? Yeah. So please do this. Answer these questions. So I can I think I can give you two minutes. 7:55 you can finish, isn't it? Done? Yes, have you all done? Okay. What is the first question given? What is the question? Livelihood motive. You have all written that, huh? Livelihood. Good. Very good, Ashwin. Second one. Non-economic activities are driven by known as altruism. No, isn't it altruism? Third. Consumption represented the dash side of economics. Demand side of economics. Have you written that? Those who have not written, please take down the answer. Right answer. Fill it up. Okay. Then. I say business comes under dash one. Medium perspective. Very good. IT business. Yes. Then. This culture does not come in industry and then Does it uh, come? True. The answer is true because it does not come in India when it is having a separate treatment towards uh, income tax as such. Okay. Then. Uh, uh, yes. So business is uh, guided by founders' values. Okay. I think next is heritage uh, conservation. Huh? Keep in case of business. Right. It's not possible in case of others, profession or employment. Then, ah, so does it come under, what does it come? Social responsibilities. Because some students bring it under environmental. That last is there, no legal, ethical, environmental. So remember it is, uh, they, they do, go and maintain it. They do some uh, cleaning kind of activities there. Okay. So uh, all said and done, somewhere we have got a glimpse into the, Chapter 1. Is that clear? Are you clear with chapter 1? So what you are going to do? And yeah, what is that? Comes under organic objectives. Right? So my dear students, please look at the chapter 1. So 
please be very clear that you are going to know the meaning of business all the terms there i told no generally entrepreneur business farmers commercial activities all that also aids to trade auxiliaries to trade so so many terms are there what is a domain uh, oxford dictionary simple uh, term that's what we saw exercise that uh, from so's uh, 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 language and how it is used in business bq then the difference between economic non economic activity difference between business profession employment so be clear with all this okay this is what we did a small exercise in the whole of it we have covered okay so we will go to chapter 2 Yes, look at this uh, chapter 2 now. Now chapter 2 is a very very important topic. Look at this business environment chapter 2. See look at part 1, part 2. So you have uh, literally speaking you have two parts. Uh, synopsis is divided into part 1 and part 2. And look at this no capabilities of a company. Okay, look at the capabilities of the company and Darwin's theory, experts, Gluck and Josh perspectives, fourfold characteristics of business environment, significance of understanding business environment, dynamic exchanges, Richmond and Copen perspectives, framework and utility of environmental analysis, environmental scanning, and then you have the major part. This is where this is a very important segment. Now, this is an emerging paper, isn't it? You may be knowing that it's a separate paper. In fact, uh, CSET has this already. And for CMA, from the coming batch, this is included. So, very important segment. Make a note of it as very important segment. For the examination, you have to prepare this topic very well. Okay? Uh, here, what you have? Components of business environment, internal, external. Okay? You have the puzzle matrix here. Strategic uh, responses to the environment with classification. Okay. So, with this introduction, yes. First, you are beginning with questions. Take these questions. Take down first question, a company must have two capabilities, dash and dash. It is not the strongest of the species that survive, not the intelligent, but responsive to change. Who gave this? That's the second question. Who gave this? I want you to give the answer. Who gave this? Not verbally. Please write it down. According to dash, environmental includes... The quotation, no? the factors outside the firm which can lead to opportunities and threats. So you are going to say who gave this, who gave this quote. Any data having commercial importance is seen as dash. And environmental factors are largely external and beyond the control of individual enterprises and their management. These are essentially the dash. You are, you are calling them as a particular, with using a particular term. And who has given this? This also you have to respond. Thank 
Unable to recollect? Yes? Try like this, no? As fill up. Since you asked options, you should not neglect that option. I'll give you. The first one you can write on your own, isn't it? For who gave this award? Answering also. Okay. You want options? Okay, here also you can use this. For this one, options in bracket. Scanners, analyzers, givers, framework. Okay. Here are options. Yes, data having commercial importance in statistics. Yes, research. Yes, information. Yes, none of the given. So options are given. Now you can try. Finished? Okay, now the answer key is going to be released. Look at it. Company must have two capabilities. Ability to prosper, ability to change. Ability to prosper, ability to change. And the strongest species that is given by whom? Darwin, Charles Darwin's theory, isn't it? Survival of the fittest. Now, the next one, according to Gluck and Josh, 
and see in your book uh, you would have a diagram also like this the factors given in a circular form you remember that so these include okay any data which is having commercial importance is information i think we saw with an example if the government is uh, laying some policy for automobile so what is that for automobile industry what is that for a biscuit industry you tell me government is passing a new law right regarding uh, automobile industry is it a data or information for biscuit industry <laughs> it is a data for biscuit industry it is just a data if for automobile industry it is an information so a data having commercial info importance is called as information okay otherwise it's just a number then look at this environmental factors are known as givers because that is the framework within which businessmen ought to work out their strategies they are the givers they are defining everything that is what richmond and copen's theory says see the environmental factors or even the constraints as givers given the condition how am i going to run my business we say you know given my situation this is the maximum i do that is the premise of richmond and copen's theory do you follow that is the premise of richmond's and copen's theory so please make a note of it okay yes now my dear students look at this what is called as a technical segment there is a possibility that you might miss this segment so mark it as miss not segment Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. Take it down. Yes. So this is what I wanted you to look into. That is a technical segment in this chapter. That is. what is the framework to understand environmental influences so that is one question my dear students so first of all you have to take uh, the initial view of the organizations environment look at the point i am highlighting and then auditing of that environmental influences and third will be a focus on the immediate environment of the organization so the three core points which are defined the framework because we define the environmental factors as give us you remember that point give us so you have to take a view of the organization's environment generally auditing means what assessment of what influence it is going to have on the industry on the organization and thirdly what is that immediate threat which is there for example the budget for proposal says withdrawal of subsidy so the general first point is uh, there is going to be a budget uh, session uh, which is uh, likely to come so you are predicting some changes that is the general one what is that auditing if they give subsidy if they don't give if they withdraw if they impact and finally your immediate concern is if you are in industry coming under subsidy package and if that is going to be withdrawn what helps because that is a finance component and finance is the lifeblood of any business organization so that is how it has to be done that is why we call it as a giver it dictates how an organization should proceed proceed right that's why we use the term givers so that is an expected question for this i wanted you all to understand this technical segment okay yes test your memory it's not remember test your memory please sir do this exercise now dash are important and specific occurrences dash are the general tendencies or the course of actions dash are current concerns and dash are the demands made by interested groups in the light of their concern for issues and dash can be defined as a process by which organizations monitor their relative environment so i am going to give you 
options and you can do it okay that is better no i should not give it in order i should ensure that i myself don't give the correct answer shuffling is needed let me shuffle and give you okay issues expectations expectations events trends and this one please this part very important just like that it is ending, uh, lending itself for questions very important please mark it and the second one okay i should have some different terms for it no do one thing four options are given for me So look at the options, options in red, options given in red. Are you doing the exercise or simply sitting in the class and look at the options here. Test your memory, no, chapter 2. So both this, both the questions are very important and so you should know what is what. See, even without doing this chapter, this you can, you can do. Because it's a general thing, sort, isn't it? Generally also, yes. Anjini is doing very well today. BCK you prepared well, that segment. See, suddenly some changes will be there, you know, in students towards the examination. Those who we think are not working hard, suddenly they will work very hard and do very well. Those who expect so much, you know, they will become, they will not at all appear in the class. All this will happen. Generally also, knowing the language, I mean English also, you must be able to feel it.
See, this exercise is important for examination. Have that in mind. See, Bharat, now that you have not taken biscuits and the coffee, you should be active. He said, no, if you take, you'll get your disease. Okay, finish. Seriously, all. Five. Finish. Very good. All finished? Okay. Yes. Shall we look at the answers? What did you write? Yes, Bharat, what are the important uh, dash are important and specific occurrences. Event. Event. See, event is an occurrence, isn't it? We always say events. They are general tendencies or cause of action. Trend. Trends. Trends. You know, the trend line we say, we say isn't it? Yes. Concerns. When you name concerns, issues. Issues, concerns, problems. And there are demands made by the people. Very good. Now, this one. Scrutiny. What is the answer? Canning. Got it? Yes. How many of you got five on five? Yes. All of, how many? Four. Huh? Four people. Four people have got five on five. Very good. Now, again, come to this segment. My dear students, Look at this chart. So, you are given five minutes to have a look at this chart. And you are going to do this chart without seeing it. Okay? Not even five minutes. I will give you two minutes. Look at this chart. Look at the classification. Because one repeated question is, they ask from different segment and they give you. So, look at this chart. Register the contents in the mind for two minutes and you are going to do the chart and we will exchange and correct it. Okay, this will be carrying, we are going to give this uh, number of uh, points there, how many number of points are there? Nineteen, huh? Nineteen and with a heading nineteen and five twenty four. Yes, read this chart. We will make you write this chart. Photo, why such a wait a minute? Yes. This test is given seeing the enthusiasm of the class in VCK. Study it. In another two minutes, you are going to write this. Yes, Vijayananda, don't get disturbed. Do your work, study. Who is that fellow who is disturbing you? Yes, Deepak, you are finished. You are doing it. So it is 8.37. 8.38. We can move. One minute.
okay? Yes. Now, done. What about you? Yes, Ganesh. Finished. Completely finished. Nothing is pending. Okay. Start. Start the exercise. Yes, now time up. Give your book to your friend. Take the notebooks. You have to give it big mark. Yes, but if you can see for another person, don't collect your own paper. This is one set of mentions. Okay, so you can make things in the collector. 
Because we are going to put the marks for it and rank card will be prepared. Digital rank card. Yes. Look at the answer. Each carry is one mark. Look at the classification, please. Business environment. Look at it. They should have the title business environment. One mark. Each of this carries one mark. So, what is the number of marks they are getting? Is it 24 or something like that? Internal environment, external. That should be the clear classification. Internal, external. Under internal, value system, mission and objectives, organizational structure, corporate culture, quality of human resources, labor unions, physical resources and technological capabilities. This segment, this carries 8 marks, 8 marks, because you have physical resources and the last part is technological capabilities, this is 8 marks, if this is written correctly as internal environment, 1 mark, 9 mark and when business environment title is that 10 marks, ok, 10 marks over, go to this external environment, 11 is 11 mark then micro environment macro so 12 13 marks under micro look at it organization customers competitors market suppliers and intermediaries each carrying one mark okay. producers yeah so instead of Instead of writing organization, instead of writing organization, add one more. You can write one more as producer. Okay. Macro. Look at the macro. See, these relating to this should be there economic, political, legal, technological. And remember, global, my dear students, global is very important. Global is very important. Socio cultural. Demographic. So this carries six marks. Six plus one seven. Okay. And here you have six marks. So totally, what is the mark? Twenty-five. Getting twenty-five. So out of twenty-five, please give me the marks. So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 marks. Test of memory. Supposing if you have got a low a uh, low score. Go home and take, tell your mother to make some food which will enhance your memory power. Take a Tudhuvalai chocolate. Tudhuvalai will, hmm, ballari, ballari. Ballari, uh, greens or toffee, have that. Okay. Yes. Let me know the scores. We will start from Bharat. What is your score? 23. Yes, next. Oh. Really, bottom. <laughs> Did you look at the books of these other two fellows and write? 
Yes, next to deep and Huge. Oh. Mm. Yours, what do you have to say? How will he say? But you know, no, you got still didn't get the notebook. Okay, what harsh? What is your ma? Hmm. Yes, Vishnu Priya. Yes, Sahanya. 24. 24. Ranjini, 21. 20. Ah, 17. 20. 22. 23. 22. Reasonably good, no? Mom, I don't have an emotional story with you. Who told you to strike it? Reasonably good, yeah? It's not a bad score. Actually, I expected some uh, 8 or 9 out of 25. Then you would have touched it, no? Which means already you know something. But no, otherwise you cannot. Yes. Go to the next segment. Please look at it. See, in micro and macro. See, look at the definition. Please look at this definition. Uh, look at this, please. The definition of each of this. So, at the next level, customer, one who has to pay and acquire the product, organization, it consists of owners, board of directors and employees. Market, which means price, cost, all those things. Intermediaries, one who acts as a bridge between the manufacturer and the marketer. Competitors, the rivals in the market. Suppliers, you know, they are the people who have... Not visible properly. Not visible properly. Under that micro, no? did you see that? Look at this. See, this is where students uh, make a mistake. Here, it represents actually entrepreneur and a micro environment. See, other things are here. See, look at it. Internal environment is uh, totally, you know, about the resources of the organization. Remember, organization is in a larger way is bound by the external scenario. You know, it's not independent. It's not an independent entity because it is ruled by so many other things. So, under uh, external, they can bring it as micro. Because it is not totally an uh, internal component. I am starting so much discussion this one. Eh? What happened to this? What you wanted to say? Ah, yes. So, look at this. Now, are you able to see? So, this is what the next level. First level is the chart revision. Second level is the meaning or what each component implies in the business context. Starting from customer to organization. Look at this uh, here under micro. It consists of owners, board of directors, employees, market, price, uh, market maturity, different stages. I do not know whether you know that stages of a uh, uh, life cycle of a product, you know, introduction, growth, maturity, saturation, decline, all those cost structure, intermediaries, who are the intermediaries, competitors, we know business rivals, suppliers, because they also have a control over the market with their bargaining power and macro environment, 
and macro environment remember global is one thing which is always missed out so missed out aspect is global phenomenon now after knowing the macro chart you have to know the individual components demographic about the population profile political government policies legal laws economic we know i think i have taught you as economic system uh, economic factors economic policies if you remember that social tradition culture beliefs etc technology you know how technological ad advancement play a very important role risk and otherwise and government uh, the policy approaches etc acts some of the acts are there and globally i think we saw uh, international events you remember differences in the markets uh, and conditions internationally all this come under your uh, macro environment okay so that part you have to know very well so that is what i have tried to sum up in this uh, particular category now yes you are going to uh, take a set of uh, questions on this as well okay components you have to uh, you have to give the answer whether it is micro or macro okay i will give you the component and the example you have to tell whether it is micro or macro okay that is the second uh, thing which we would like to do it please uh, take it down we'll let us start it you saw a glimpse you had the glimpse isn't it so that is enough for you if you have the glimpse okay Take down the thing for structure question what it is asked. All this we will keep as micro or macro. Okay, throughout it is the discussion is micro or macro. We will put it as. You are going to identify that for everything, whether it is micro or macro. what i want to give you here i will ask you something else i'll give you the options okay as i told you sir do this exercise
So we are going to finish with this, the topic two. Have you done? I think time is up. We are going to now give the answers, right? Okay. So let us go for the checking the answers. Cost structure, micro or macro? Somebody said macro. It comes under market, isn't it? That is the what is that we said? No, cost structure, market maturity, price structure, all will come there. GST. Sure, macro? Okay, under macro, uh, where will it come? You want to identify the next innermost. Legal. 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 Loss. Okay, GST loss. Asset ownership. Demographic. A demographic uh, will have all data relating to population, statistics relating to pop, uh, population. So the answer is none because it will come under demographic. Now this is the eye-opening exercise for you to go through the subdivisions or examples of each of the component coming under micro, macro, internal, external. Do you understand my dear students? So this is... I am going to write it as look at this eye opening exercise. Look at that term. It is not a chart. At the first level, you saw the chart. But don't you see that you might slip when it comes to examples? Right? Because it may appear we are going to choose the most appropriate. See, if you say GST as a political or under government, it will not be wrong. But what is the most appropriate option? So, this is to understand that. Choose the most appropriate, appropriate option. Okay, for that, for that purpose, for you to understand that, I am giving you this exercise. Okay, next one, income distribution. Income distribution, what is the answer you gave? Sure, none. This here, this side. Anybody else? Government. Okay. This is also demographic. This is 
is also demographic. Role of women in society. Macro. It comes under, see, family structure. Role of women in society. They are come under social factors, sociological factors. Sociological factors. So remember, my dear students, every exercise is giving you some tip where you have to sharpen or where you have to focus as you prepare, right? Okay. The pull of technological change, options are given. B and C, remember. Now, why this is given to you is sometimes the major classification and the subdivision will be given. Supposing this is not given, you know, something else is given. Say, let us assume your political or something is given. Instead of choosing macro, you have to choose technological. That is the most uh, nearest you have to choose. If a bigger one and a smaller one is given, I mean, the main. Uh, uh, you know, larger framework and a core one is given, choose a core one. Are you getting my point? Clear? Yes or no? Yes. Shreya, what is your doubt? Can I help you? Okay, expands what? What do you did? Tend to weakness, opportunities and threats. Okay, so for Pezil, what did you do? Yes, legal and environmental, isn't it? So you have taken down both, isn't it? You know that strength, weakness, opportunities, threats, political, economic uh, or economical, social or sociological, technological, legal and environmental. Environmental, not ethical, environmental. Okay? So that is how this exercise should be done. Okay? So, 